Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I already kind of started this because um, recording was not on my mind, but today we are doing a moon art journal. And that's mostly for me because sometimes my ideas come and go, so I need to write them down. So what we have so far is we have the phases of the moon, and then we have a La Luna, lunar type moon, and those were printed out and cutted, and, and those were printed out, then they were cut, and then, then they were pasted on. Um, and then now we're gonna, so this is, it kind of looks like a starry sky, but I also kind of think of it as water as well, so we're gonna glue it on the bottom half of this um right here is where it's gonna go and we're also gonna use oh yeah see also that is another lunar phase also cut it out and printed it out cut it out and then i pasted it on so that's all you kind of really missed um i'm gonna have a few drawings i'm gonna have the water right here Maybe do a drawing here. Color. Um, I also have a few other paper type things. I also have something that also looks kind of like a starry sky. Um, but purple. So we're going to get that soon. But for right now, we're waiting on this to heat up. And then we'll glue it. So. We're just going to. Wait a few minutes. Let me go grab my other things that I can show you. Because I forgot to press record right away. And this was shortened so some of the stuff I did bring out I already put away that I'm not using but we might use this because it's colorful and I like color in my art journals um this is to help trace if I want to make a moon and I want a perfect circle so this is to help trace with that um it's a sponge I mostly use it for my painting um, but, uh, I also use it to help me trace. I don't think we're going to use it for any painting, but it does give great markings or, you know, different things. And again, we're probably not going to use all of this. Heck, I don't even know where. Like, this has nothing to do with the moon, but I like stickers. Um, I don't know what I might use this for, but I also kind of like using stuff, um, to the full capacity. Um, this is also to give a part of a watery vibe. Who knows if I'm going to use it. Uh, this is great for backgrounds to color on. I also like when there's, like, words and stuff to give more dynamic. And then this. Again, it's like a starry sky, even more purpley, and who knows where I'm going to put that. I'm probably going to put that on the back page, but for right now, that's all I got. I also have um, a few drawing ideas. So, come with me, and you'll see what I have for drawing ideas. <laughs> so, this is a moon, and it looks, I love the design of it. That's why I'm going to probably draw it. Um, I love the design inside. Uh, I'm very into designer type 
art. This one's very artistic and I love, I loved seeing pictures of moon faces and I'm pretty sure there's a book with the moon face on it and I love, I just, it's such a cool design and gives a human type quality to the moon. It makes it more of a person. And then this one, oh my gosh, when I saw this, look at that face in there. That looks creepy and I love it. So I'm going to probably do the best I can to recreate the drawings. No promises though. And then this is what I printed off. It has phases on the moon. I did not keep that part. Because, um, that should be understandable. Otherwise I can like, because like I had this. That's why I didn't keep that last part. I have this one where I kept the lunar phases. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to keep phases of the moon and then have lunar phases. That doesn't make sense. So I took one of the boardings out and I just decided to do that one. So that's the plan really. Um, I'm hoping it turns out okay. I have no idea though. And a lot of this stuff, who knows if I'm actually going to use it or not. I might not. Who knows? That's what happens sometimes with this stuff. Is I have two stuff. And then while I'm doing it, I might be like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Or, oh, that's not looking how I like it. So, that's what we have planned. I'm also, if you hear it in my voice... I don't know if I'm catching something. I hope I'm not. Um, but yeah. You may have also heard that last week. Last week I actually did kind of have something. This week I don't know what's going on. So hopefully it's... Hopefully it's not... Hopefully it's not that. <laughs> I don't need that again. Um, actually that's quite funny when it comes to see um my family members and I know all of my family members except for me and my dad got it and then because me and my dad were around them you'd think oh you would get it nope we quarantined and I mean I wouldn't have gone anywhere anyway I don't really go places but we quarantined and this was like months in the COVID, so it hasn't, like, it was months in 2021 where we got COVID, but, like, got to see, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, <sighs> maybe I can bleep that out, I don't know, <laughs> we'll, we'll work on it, um, Oh well, who cares? YouTube, YouTube should, shouldn't be stupid about that. I mean, it's been here, it's been, it's been going. Um, but yeah, uh, so I doubt it's that, um, it's more my nose than anything else. I think it's, I think it's the winter, that's, or allergies. I mean, it's technically springtime right now. Like, we just got into April. So the snow is melting away, yay, finally. Didn't mar melt away in March. So, this is pretty hot right now. It usually takes about like five minutes to heat up. Or ten, I don't know. I actually had to search that up. I was like, how long does it take for a hot glue gun to um, heat up? So... I didn't read the instructions for how to work a glue gun. Whew. I also didn't realize the first few times using this how fast it dries, which is good. But at the same time, I'm slow as a fudging snail when it comes to this stuff. Like, so. If you saw my last few videos about the hot glue, ooh, ooh, move it over. No, 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 no. Whatever, I can just 
I could color. And it's really messy to work with, but I love it. I do. It makes it easy. I just don't like everything that comes along with it. And as such, I already have to re-glue down some of the edges. Decided to be really fast. I need a better way in how to glue gun this. And there goes my finger. <sighs> Honestly, I do like my glue gun. It makes stuff easier, but at the same time, it's like... Too hot, it's too stringy, God. Like. Mm. some of this off. I don't really like how it looks on my pressing paper. <sighs> there. Nothing's perfect, but you do your best. There we go. Mm. So yeah. Art journaling is fun. There are just sections in it that I don't like. One being the goddamn stringy head glue gun. I mean, I could use... I don't know. There are certain glues out there. Like, I have one... Like, Mod Podge. But I don't really know what that does. For certain. But yeah. So... This is what we have sewn so far. I'm gonna... <sighs> so I'm gonna get up now. And... I'm gonna... Probably get to drawing. And I'll record that. And then... Watercolor is my friend. I love it. And I'm probably going to go with either the green, blue, or the purple. And it's this one that I'm going to go with. So it's like a more watery aqua green. So. So, yeah. You wait here. I'll be right back.
Will I cut this out of the video? Probably not. Unless YouTube will help me. So. Okay. So I'm going to start drawing one of the moons that I have sectioned out. And then we're probably going to put this on the back here. Or, I don't know. And then, probably definitely going to use this watery type paper. I don't know about this. And then, we are definitely going to use this. We need to grab our water. You know what I just saw? I saw one of these. So we might also use this. Instead of my actual water coloring brush. We might try that. We'll see how it goes. So. Let me. Figure out. What I'm going to draw. First. I think I will draw one of the crescent moons I had picked out for a drawing on the top here. Which one? I don't know. Probably the more designy one. And then we'll make the back really cool. Probably add this in the front as they look cool. So let's start out with which one do I want to do? I think it would be a cool distinction between my La Luna one and my drawn out one. So let me trace this with my pencil. I need new drawing pencils. These ones suck. So let's get... I don't always trace, but since... Since we're trying to get a perfect circle, that is what we're going to be using. Another thing is I go through erasers like crazy, so <sighs> I found a better one, kind of. Let's try this. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so close. Not again. So 
Never mind. Not a better one. We're using this instead. We'll use the inside of that. Because this this is too soft. <sighs> All a work in progress. That's better. <laughs> Trying to draw. Trying to draw it as best I can. So that's a circle. And then I'll show you how that got all drawn out. Just don't. Ask any questions. Just, just ignore my head turns. Um, again, I'm not going to make it super perfect, but I kind of want it as close as possible when it comes to drawing things. Kind of a messy type of, or I don't know. I'm a... I'm not a perfectionist, but I like things to be as close as possible. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of X's trying to make that scary look. Not scary, um,
gonna be fun. Kind of doing this on my knees, which isn't good. So now we're gonna take a black marker and we're gonna color this black. I know it looks weird, but trust me, it's help. Hopefully, who knows? It might turn out like shit. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this side first to trace all the lines. And then we're going to use this side to color. We're going to do all the lines first. It's not going to make it totally black. In fact, it's just going to make it more seen. Okay, I'm not going to trace everything, just a few things, just to get a sense of what everything does. Now we're going to color. Go over everything. <laughs> this black marker's kind of dying, but it gets practically dead. <laughs> so, Ugh. so I have another set. Artesia set, and we're gonna get flat from here <sighs> just so it can come out more efficiently.
I make a lot of crazy X's. <laughs> More slants, color in these circles. As best as we can. Ugh. This one's gonna take forever. This one. <laughs> I'm stupid. This part right here. Forever. Um, so we're gonna do our best. In the end, it should come out looking cool. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's life. I mean, this is still going to come out cool, but, yeah, no matter what. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. <sighs> Ow. Wait a minute. I think that that's not good. <sighs> oh. I'm kind of just coloring wherever. <laughs> Making it scratchy. <sighs> I think I did kind of good. You can kind of see where my other black marker kind of blacked out, but stopped working or whatever, but I don't think it turned out that bad. Ow. Okay, let's draw the rest out, then we'll color everything. So we're going to go to the back page now. And draw the last two moons. While well, I find a good sitting position. Hopefully this doesn't break. Don't break, don't break. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah.
Oh. Alright. Don't break bottom seat. Okay. Oh, we got a coat too. So we'll do that on the bottom here. And I think we'll do, we'll be able to do both. I think it'll look cool. Hopefully. Let me just, you know, grab the shit I need. Oh, and I swore. Well, this channel isn't really made for kids, so it should be fine. <laughs> so, we're going to make this an iPad form. Ooh. And we're going to first draw. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. First. Nope. Didn't really work out last time. I'm not doing that again. Fine, I love, but it's also sometimes really fudging hard to do. Especially when you can't get the shapes you want. I have to be a bit tired with this next lunar eclipse one. Okay. Okay. That's better. There we go. Okay.
You guys okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> yep. So let's keep going yeah, with this. Let's do a looks like a raindrop kind of next. <laughs> Hopefully I remember where everything is and what these are. Okay. Blah. Okay. That, that. <laughs> Okay, this is good as fast can we get.
the other. Oh. 
There we go. Uh. <laughs> oh, I am, I am almost done with this and then I will show you what it is. It's a long process. Ooh, this is going to be a long video. It's turning out better than what I imagined. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it looks cool. It actually kind of looks cool. <laughs> Oh, but this is a lot of coloring. Ooh. Note to self. Try not to take on. We're also going to try and smooth out some places. <laughs> take on too much. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good thing to do. It's cool. <laughs> but the design is really long. <laughs> you should also... I should also... I've chosen probably a different thing, but I like to challenge myself um, in my art. I just think sometimes I over-challenge myself, and then I can't get it done, and then it's like, oh, that didn't turn out like I wanted. Or how the picture is. Ooh, this is turning out darker than the picture. I clearly don't know how to color. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I'll keep that part. Color it to up here. Oh, great. Give me a second while I fix something. This stinking drawing. <laughs> I 
Hopefully this didn't make it turn over the wrong key. There we go. There we go. I think I fixed the thing I need to fix. Oh well. Okay. That area. This area. I don't know why, but Hannah Montana is in my head for some reason. <laughs> Stuck in my head. I think I've watched... There's this girl on TikTok who does just the most hilarious shit when it comes to um, nostalgia and stuff. Like her... <laughs> so, so how I first saw her videos was um, she did... Jackson from Twilight Love Story. Kind of like how Bella and Edward acted. Except, you know, Jackson's more serial killer looking, so it's way creepier. But she's just, she plays both very well. She plays both the Jackson. She plays a Jackson character and she plays the you know, the girl. And so it's she just she's hilarious. And then she does nostalgia stuff like Gina Montana and how old Disney Channel had those stinking laugh tracks and all of that. And it's just, it's hilarious. So I don't know why, but I'm being reminded of that. And I just think it's hilarious. I think it's funny. Okay, this is turning out a bit better. And I hope. to figure out what the color is the hardest part. <laughs> you know what? It, I don't think it turned out too bad. Can you see the design? Yeah. Okay, now I need the cap <laughs> of this. Hold on, give me a second. Well, I need to cite some things and look for a marker cap. <laughs> where, where could it be? Um, that's interesting. Ugh. Well, should have tested to here. That's on me. Okay. I just lost the marker cap. Oh shit. Well, I'll, I'll look for it later. Let's finish up what I have planned for, I don't know. I don't know what I really have planned. <laughs> you know, I was looking for the marker cap. I put it back on already. Caitlin. Caitlin, need you get your head in the game. Get your, get, get your head in the game. Oops. So I'll just I'll clean that up soon. Okay. Let's see what else we're doing. Sorry if it's wobbly. 
Okay. And we'll put everything away. Then we'll go get lunch. So that's the moon I just did. That's the reference. Um, okay. I think we'll do the quote. I think we'll do it on this page. And then I might draw this person. I probably won't. But yeah, so let's make a cool quote looking thing. And you can just watch my face while I do it. Actually, you know what? No. Let's do this side. Okay. You know what? Oh. Let's find your spot where you're gonna sit. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. There you go. And let's go to this purple. I think I'll do it on this side. I'll do I'll do the quote first. Then I'll color everything. Then I'll put this somewhere. Because I definitely am gonna use that. Um uh, can we put back? Okay. I changed my mind again. Jesus Christ. Can't even get your head together. Use this pencil and we'll try to make it cool looking.
as cool as black would be, I think I'm going to do a different color. I think I'm going to try and trace it with this dark purple. <laughs> or at least color it. Hopefully it's readable. I think it is. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is you know how in Spongebob when he's starting his um, essay and you see him work really hard and you see him do all this work and all of a sudden it's just gone. That's kind of what happened here. My the took a really cool long time. And so some of the stuff I was going to do for the rest of the letters didn't turn out. <laughs> but it's still cool. Like, I th is this cool? Is turned out kind of cool. And I don't know what's blocking my nose. Give me a second, I'll be right back. And after that, <coughs> we'll put this somewhere. I'm so sorry you had to hear that. It opened some memories. That's good. Let's finish up this. And then we'll watercolor it. We're probably going to use this and these stickers. There we go. All right. I don't know what color we're probably going to do in this one, but I'm not positive. Yeah, we'll do this one.
I'm having some kind of trouble here. Oop. I like this. This is sticky paper. Um. I think I got it at. Where did I get this sticky paper? Where did I get it? Hobby Lobby. I th think I got it at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah, because I don't remember going to the other art store and getting that, so. That's what's on this page now. <laughs> I think it gave a little more coolness. I don't know what that is. Um, huh? Okay. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this at all. Uh, I'm not going to use this. Oh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to color it. So that's what they look like. Just gonna put them on the four top corners. Four corners, not the top ones, just like actually three corners. You know, sometimes you think moon eyes. Looking at that. Alright. Yeah, let's color this. We're gonna... I changed my mind on the watercolor. We're gonna use the markers for this this time. And we're just gonna color it purple. Stick with the purple star E thing. Ooh. Ooh. I think this is turning out fantastic. I mean, the hair. Oh, I really don't know where it came from. I think. I was left over um, hot glue gun hair <laughs> string left behind. Ooh. My Friday going by fast. And I don't really have an upload schedule. But for art journals, expect one whenever I do one on a Friday. Until it becomes summer. Because I work Monday through Thursday. And by the time I get home, I'm plopping down on my face. And I only work till 3. I don't work till like 5 or anything like that. 
it's still 7.30 to 3 is my mark time. As the teacher assistant. Um, that might change soon. This summer I'm hoping that I figured out what I'm doing. Um, I'm really planning, if I really go back to school, that, although, probably be part-time, if I'm going part-time, I'm probably going to keep my job. Maybe, it depends on my schedule. But, I'm really hoping not to go back part-time. And to just go back full time and do all these art experiences. Um, I don't know. Probably if I don't go back to school this next. This upcoming fall, we're probably gonna keep my job. We're gonna keep it through the summer to get paid this summer. Cause like my job does the when you're not working during the summer, they give you a paid week, and then you have to file for unemployment. collect unemployment this summer, so I'm hoping after this summer to just go back full time to school. So I don't, I don't know. That sounds weird to just do unemployment this summer and then quit the job that I'm getting unemployment for. Or maybe not. Who knows? Who knows what I'm gonna do? Maybe I'll do another year at the job I'm working at, and then, and then, I don't know, maybe do a photography business, that's, that's what I'm kind of hoping to do, of course I need a camera, and then I need to find out how to do business, and all that, and do business cards, and all that jazz, and then, probably hire someone to do phones for me or make appointments for me for for um people who wanna do pictures. I'm probably gonna do a lot of so what I have in mind if I do this is that I'm probably gonna do like family shoots, baby photos. If you're doing a wedding you have to let me know in advance. I have to know the date of the wedding how long I'm there for, if I'm getting food, and how much I'm getting paid. And I don't know. Like, whatever. And then the amount of pictures you're gonna want. Um, I do not know how I'm gonna price things. I have a feeling I'm gonna accidentally do too many discounts. <laughs> like, oh, you got this, but you want to do this? Discount. <laughs> or maybe I'll make a business online and sell stuff. I mean, I could sell a lot of my paintings that I'm probably never going to... I just have in my room. Ooh, this is turning out pretty. In fact, I'm probably not even going to use the tape I have out. Put that back later. I'll show you once I'm all done coloring what it all looks like.
and we'll go for dinner. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. So here's the first page. That's drawn. This is printed, printed. This is written. And that's hot glued. And then... Um, watercolor. <sighs> That's drawn, colored. This is colored background. That's a sticky paper, sticky paper, printed, sticker, sticker. Anyways. Thank you for joining me for the Moon Art Journal. Um, I hope you had a fun time. I'm, I'm sorry about this nose crap. I, I, hopefully, next video, 
it won't be doing this like in the last two videos I don't know um I'm gonna go get lunch now uh it is two o'clock so good timing um I hope you guys have a good rest of your day um <laughs> And I will see you next time. Bye.